Hey guys, today we are in Volkswagen Golf uh, with, uh, with MIP2 based uh, navigation system and over here um, I'm going to show you that there's a fault stored in the 5F unit which is the main unit of the infotainment system and the fault um, is called uh, Control Module Software Incompatible the fault code is B200087 also you will um, you can have um, uh, fault uh, 1556 so this is based by um, some co uh, software inconsistency in the file system and it can be triggered by um, applying a patch or a hack uh, uh, with the SD card method and I'm going to show you how to fix this in this unit and of course you can clear this fault but as soon as you reboot the system it will pop back right over here so first that you are going to do um, if you have a MIP2 based navigation system uh, made by Technisat um, is to install the MIP2 standard toolbox which I'm going to link in the description below and there, uh, there's already a video um, uh, showing how, uh, how the installation goes please read all the details. So right now what we are going to do is uh, go into the toolbox by press and hold of the menu button for about 10 seconds and uh, after two seconds you have the service mode but you need to keep pressing the menu button over here and in the test mode menu you are going to green engineering menu over here go to MIP standard to toolbox and over here we are going to tools and over here we are uh, selecting the privacy and security um, related options and we have the clean software download history and keep only non-duplicated firmware updates so apparently this um, fault can be triggered if you have a multiple uh, multiple update um, uh, entries in the update history that are the same so usually you go um, with your software up by a version or you skip some versions but you never have two uh, the same um, installs in the installation history so with this script we should be able to make this code go away so let's press it it's making a backup it's cleaning it done please restart the unit to apply changes okay so right now we are going to reboot the system by uh, pressing and holding on the um, on the control knob but first let's disconnect from the car maybe just to make sure that we are not connected to the unit while we are rebooting it now press and hold wait about 10 seconds again you can check my awesome um, uh, clock over here custom made also with the MIP2 tool toolbox and right now we are waiting for the system to reboot after it's uh, it's on we can use obd11 once again to connect to the car to the 5f module and we should be able to clear the fault permanently okay so let's try to connect select the device uh, while we are waiting over here i can show you the update history because it's accessible over here now, of course the system just rebooted so not everything is uh, available right away okay and over here we have the software update version and we have versions and we have the update history and as you can see now the log is clean i should show you i should have shown uh, you this before the cleaning uh, uh, procedure and there were a lot of entries over here for, uh, from installing um, uh, radio database um, logos and uh, my personal point of interest and so on okay so right now let's go to the list of modules scroll down to the module 5f multimedia let's uh, select faults and the fault is still here but you can see that there's a green indicator over here previously it was red so right now if I, if I clear the fault it should not pop back over here after the system reboot okay so that's it in the description below this video you will have some more details uh, please read them it's a safety concern because the MIP2 toolbox is a very powerful tool it can easily break your unit if not used properly so check the description uh, give me thumbs up if you like this video if it uh, helped you and subscribe for future ones see you soon